What is up everyone? Welcome to my Catalyst Gunship Preview. So today we got a new unit and it's the Catalyst Gunship. This is a tier 2 anti-infantry flying unit for Nod. So it's got some cool combos with chemical units, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's just take a look at its stats for now. Unfortunately, the only picture I have is of a level 13 gunship. So I'm just going to tell you what its base or level 5 stats look like. So the hit points are around 1350. This is a little bit more than a Venom or Banshee, but a little bit less than a Razorback or Mohawk. What this effectively means within a game is that it's going to be 7 bike missiles or 3 bike volleys like a Razorback, but it does die in 1 Phantom volley, unlike the Mohawk and Razorback. So it's a little bit, uh, it's quite strong against bikes, it survives a little bit longer against them, but it's still going to go down to 1 volley from that, from that Phantom. Um, it's also about 3 hammerhead shots, which is also very similar to those light aircraft. Okay, so it's a fastest flying unit, and its infantry damage is 510 per shot, and it fires once every 2 seconds. This means it kills one model per shot against light and medium infantry, such as lasers, missiles, shocks, etc., but needs two shots per model for heavier infantry, like mutants, grens, cyborg, zone, chemical warriors, those sorts of beefier infantry. Um, I'm not sure what its vehicle damage is exactly, but it's very low. It's basically negligible. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's, it's, it's bad versus vehicles, um, at least the basic shot is. The, the chemical grenade is a little bit better, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Alright, so obviously this unit comes from the air tower, because it's an air unit. Um, it's fastest speed and it costs 50 Tiberium. So now I'm going to talk to you about its special ability, which is the chemical grenade launcher. So every 5 seconds, this unit deploys a chemical grenade on its target, which creates a chemical gas cloud. This has nothing to do with the primary attack. Uh, this is completely separate, it'll do this and without affecting its normal attack speed. And then the gunship's primary attack reacts with clouds, blowing them up. So what this means is that you'll create an area explosion on the... It'll only hit that one tile, it's not like a jade missile that'll explode and hit a seven tile radius. It only hits the one tile the cloud is on. It'll consume the cloud, and the cloud explosion does about 350 infantry damage and around about 800 vehicle damage. So this will instantly kill any squad of infantry that's lighter than shocks or flames. They have about 400 hit points. They don't die to one explosion. And it'll kill any vehicle squad it hits. So dogs, wheels, bikes, all of those will die in one explosion. Um, this also means that it works as a really good combination with a regular chemical unit. Because regular chemical units like the uh, warrior and the buggy create a cloud like roughly one at once every second. Which means the gunship, which fires every two seconds, can explode every single shot. So this combination is really, really good versus basically all ground units. Alright, uh, obviously this thing doesn't shoot up as well. Uh, I forgot to mention that earlier, but it does only shoot ground. Alright guys, let's take a look at some of the matchups for this unit. So, if we move on to, to this, uh, we'll see, this is, here's the shocks. As you can see, shock troopers, it's one shot, per, one shot per model. So pretty efficient versus these medium infantry. Here's jump jets, they're, they're a little bit lighter, but again, one shot per model. And there's the chemical grenade going off on those jump jets. Here's grenadiers. As you can see, two shots per grenadier. Uh, once again, here comes the cloud. Cloud finishes off the squad. Pretty good against grenadiers. Here's mutants. Mutants have a little bit more hit points than grens. It's not quite as good against mutants. Uh, it's still two shots per model, but this time the grenade is a little bit less effective. And it needs that final shot to finish off the, the mutants. Alright, so here is uh, going up against the most important matchup, the missile slash laser matchup. So on defense, it's very good. It only takes two hits from an offensive missile or laser, which is pretty great. Um, unfortunately, it's a lot weaker when it's attacking them. Here you can see it goes in. It takes eight seconds for it to clear the squads. Uh, well, actually it actually takes six because the explosion blows them up. But yeah, you can see it takes four hits. So it takes a lot of damage. Now against tech infantry, this thing's pretty strong. So here's confessors attacking into it. It's, it's still, it's two shots per infantry model, even the heaviest infantry, it's only two shots per model. So it, be, it can beat Confessors 1v1, which is pretty insane. Uh, here's Zone Trooper. This matchup is amazing for the Catalyst Gunship. This is actually like the pride and joy of the Catalyst Gunship. It's really good versus zones. Here you can see it actually beats a Zone Trooper when it's on defense. It does a little bit worse on offense, obviously, but it does still trade. It kills one of the Zone Troopers, which is pretty great. And here's a boosted one going in against zones. It can actually trade for the entire squad, which is really strong for a 50 cost unit. Uh, unfortunately, cyborgs are a lot weaker versus cyborgs. The EMP plus the much faster attack speed of the cyborgs means that they beat it on offense. And on defense, cyborgs absolutely destroy this thing. You don't even kill a model when you're attacking cyborgs. 
All right, let's take a look at Pitbull. So here is a Pitbull, stationary Pitbull against a Catalyst Gunship. As you can see, the vehicle damage is terrible. There's the explosion, does about half the hit points of the Pitbull. It's around about 800, but it gets crushed by Pitbull. Unfortunately, in higher tier games where people actually micro their units, um, what happens is the cloud misses the Pitbull and then the explosion doesn't go off. As you see here, the Pitbull basically takes no damage. So this thing is pretty weak to Pitbulls, which is a pretty big issue. Um, here's the thing against bikes. So it's pretty, if your opponent isn't paying attention, it does a good job against bikes. So here you can see it fighting bikes. Um, it, it, because it gets that cloud down, the cloud explosion then takes out the bikes. So here we see it against bikes that are moving, however. Uh, again, the problem is once they move, they can dodge that explosion and then the bikes survive the catalyst missile, uh, survive the gunship and basically take no damage. All right, so here's it going up against a, a constantly stationary target. This is an APC. So as you can see, not that great versus the APC. APC's got a lot of hit points. One explosion doesn't do a lot. It only gets two explosions off. It doesn't do great against the APC. However, if we take a look at the combo versus APC, so where we have a chem trooper as well. So now every time the catalyst gunship fires, it explodes. Now this combo, you can see it annihilates this APC. It takes down the APC and it clears the missiles very easily because of the explosion. Now here's the same combo, except this time against Pitbull. As you can see, because every time it fires, it blows up, it crushes Pitbull 2v1. Now here's a little trick you can do with the Catalyst gunship. Once the Catalyst missile, is, once the grenade is about to fire, you can reach target, you change target to the bikes as they're coming in and clean up those bike squadron. Because the, 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 the grenade will hit whatever once the, um, once the gunship uh, reaches that point where it's firing the grenade. All right, guys. So now we're going to take a look at a little bit of gameplay. Obviously, Copycat very generously offered to, to get whooped by me uh, to show off the, the Catalyst gunship in gameplay. So the deck I'm playing here is the standard Fnatic 5-card deck. So Laser, Fnatic, Wheel, Bike, Stealth Tank, Oksana. And then I've just put Catalyst gunship in as that last unit. So it's not really a deck built around the Catalyst gunship. So don't get too excited. This isn't a deck I'd necessarily... This is just a standard 5-card deck that I know works well, plus the gunship. So this is just to give a chance to, to show off the gunship. Okay, so the game starts in a pretty normal fashion. We've got double wheel versus barracks opening. I, I trade off one of the wheels for one of the one of Copycat's missiles, and I go Fanatics to fight his missiles. He goes into Pitbull to fight the wheels, but he's forced to go and contest this top pad, and uh, he doesn't he doesn't block bottom. So I'm able to get onto these pads. I make a second bite to come out and clear this Liang drone. Pretty normal stuff so far. Obviously, we haven't seen the Catalyst Gunship yet. There was no real reason for me to make it. So after the first missile, here I'm looking to make the Catalyst Gunship. I want to make something happen with this unit. I want it to be a little bit more exciting. So here comes the Catalyst Gunship. He makes some missiles. And I send the Catalyst Gunship boosted against these missiles. So as you can see with the boost, absolutely crushes those missiles. Takes them down, no problem. There's the cloud. Doesn't really do much though. And then he makes a Pitbull. Now I know I can't fight a Pitbull because if your opponent moves around a lot, it's not going to do a lot of work against Pitbull. So what I decide to do, I decide to set up a double laser plus catalyst gunship uh, combination. My thoughts here are that I can protect the lasers from infantry with the gunship. So it works out okay. As you can see, he sends in his rifles. I move the catalyst gunship to engage them. And there you go. It clears out those rifles pretty easily. And the lasers are able to deal with the Pitbull, uh, keeping it away from my catalyst gunship. All right. So the next thing that happens is he goes APC. Now... This is actually a pretty interesting thing that happens here. This is pretty cool. If you watch what happens with this Catalyst gunship versus this APC. So I start working on it with the Catalyst gunship. I go and finish off that Pitbull. I bring the Stealth Tank back in. I finish off the APC just as the cloud hits and I manage to blow up all of the missiles with that cloud. So that was a really, really nice, cute play there. And yeah, here, here comes the Catalyst gunship boosted to clean up those missiles again. Stealth Tank takes out the top of the stuff at the top and it's a pretty easy win for me from there on. So thank you Copycat for, for that, uh, that demonstration. As you can see the Catalyst Gunship is a pretty cool unit. Um, the big issue with the Catalyst Gunship that I've seen so far, it's just very hard to build a deck for the Catalyst Gunship. Because its role is a tier 2 anti-infantry, you really want to play it with a chemical unit to get that combo going because that combo is amazing. But then you have to play two tier 2 anti-infantry because you're playing a chemical warrior or a chemical buggy and a Catalyst Gunship. So then you have two very heavy anti-infantry units in your deck, which makes it very hard to have room for anything else. So that's the biggest issue with the Catalyst Gunship at the moment. I'm not sure how people are going to figure this out. I don't know what the decks are going to look like when people figure out Catalyst Gunship decks. But 
at the moment there is a bit of a deck building constraint that's going to make it difficult to fit into decks. The unit is cool though, and the chemical com combination is really fun. So I'm hoping that someone can figure out a sweet deck for this thing. So a couple of final things about the Catalyst gunship. Um, the explosion does not do great structure damage, so this thing is not going to be able to just run over to someone's base and take it out on its own. That's not going to happen. Um, and s also, um, it doesn't blow up when you Jade Missile it. So unlike other chem units, like the chem warriors and the chem buggy, the Catalyst gunship itself does not explode with a Jade Missile. Of course, the cloud it leaves behind will, but the gunship itself does not provide that extra explosion, making it even worse uh, in, a, in combination with Jade. I think you're probably going to play this with chem units without Jade. I think that's what this thing does. It lets you play chem units without Jade as your commander, which is pretty cool. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you, see you out there with your Catalyst gunships on the battlefield. All right. See you later, guys.